So today I'm going to show you how to add a microphone to your Open Broadcast Studio recordings. I'm making this video assuming that you've already watched one of my earlier videos on either how to record your screen or how to record video games. And I'm just kind of building on that a little bit because some people are having issues either getting the microphone to work at all or just selecting the, uh, the correct microphone. So basically what we have here is the default OBS window. The only thing I've added is the display capture option right here. So uh, these two options are here by default. So you can see that this green bar is already jumping around for me and that's just because it's automatically selected one of my microphones. But uh, for a lot of people it might not select any microphone if you have an odd one or it might select the wrong microphone. So to change that you just need to go to the settings option right here and then go to properties and then from this drop down list you just have to select the correct microphone. So for example the uh, microphone here, the Realtek High Definition Audio one is the built-in microphone in my laptop and the quality is not very good so I have this other one which is the uh, Yeti stereo microphone which is much better um, and so I'm obviously going to want to select that one. You may have even more uh, microphones on your computer just depending on uh, what type of computer you're working with. So just select the correct one and then hit OK and as long as you have this green bar bouncing around after that then that means you're good to go. You can just start recording anytime. If your microphone didn't show up in that list, then we may have to dig a little bit deeper. Um, one thing to try before going too far is that you might just need to add a separate audio input capture. I'm not sure why sometimes this uh, shows up with more audio, like microphone options, but just sometimes it does. So if you right click in sources and then go to audio input capture, then just hit OK here, you may uh, find that your uh, microphone is in this list if it wasn't in the other one. If it is, just select it, hit OK, and then you can just drag this one to zero if it was like the microphone you didn't want to use or something. So now as long as this green bar is bouncing around, then you're good to start recording. But if you went through all this and your microphone wasn't in the list, then it probably means that Windows isn't uh, recognizing your uh, microphone properly. So it usually means that you might have to install drivers for it or you might want to check that to make sure that your cable isn't faulty or maybe the microphone itself is uh, defective. So to check if Windows is actually recognizing it then we can just right click on the speakers option right here and then go to recording devices. So everything that Windows recognizes as a recording device should show up in this list. So like this is the built-in one in my laptop and then this is my external one and then you'll see that this one says disabled. So what this actually is, is the microphone input on, to, on my laptop. Because this Yeti one that I use is USB connected, then I'm not using the actual like microphone connection on the computer, so it leaves it as disabled. If you have yours plugged into that port and it's still showing up as disabled, then that would generally mean like a defective cable or your microphone is defective. So um, if your microphone isn't showing up in this list and you think it should, then you may need to go one step further and check your device manager. So for that, you just need to right click on the start menu and then choose device manager right here. And then the top option here should have all of your audio input and output devices. So again, this is my built-in one and then this is my external microphone. If the microphone that you want to use is here but it has a red X on it, then it just means it's disabled and you would need to right click on it and say enable. If it's not showing up at all, then, like I said, double check your uh, wiring and the microphone itself. If it's, if you have a, like a yellow question mark somewhere down here, then that would probably mean that you need to install drivers for your microphone. So if that's the case, you just need to go to the manufacturer website for your, for your uh, microphone, like mine would be uh, Blue Yeti. I would just need to go to their website and then there should be an option there for downloading the drivers. And then once you have it actually appearing right here, then it will show up in OBS. So it's not OBS's fault if it's not showing up, if it's not showing up here. If it is showing up over here and then it's not in OBS, then I guess you have a bit of a more weird scenario and uh, just leave a comment and I'll see if I can help you personally. Like it might be a specific microphone model or something like that that's not working and I might be able to track it down like exactly why it's not working or how to get it working. 